today we are in Boca Raton on a beautiful, a beautiful sunny South Florida day. Love to see it. And I'm gonna be showing you this five bedroom, six bathroom, 4,600 square foot modern new construction home. This house in particular has intercoastal access straight to the water and it's got room for your boat. And if this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason Matuk. I'm a realtor in South Florida. I take you through the nicest homes for sale on the market. So if you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I think it's time to get started. Let's go. Love to see it. New construction always looks really nice. And this house is no different. So it's come through this really tall, sturdy door. Takes me right in. I have these huge windows overlooking my pool and the water. The staircase is a piece of art. The chandelier is a piece of art. Room for pieces of art. On my right, the first half bathroom. Not only does it have tons of space, the countertops, the backsplash on the wall over here, it has like a leaf imprint right by the front door so your guests don't have to search for it. It's pretty obvious where it is. And then as they come on out, just the bamboo through these windows. And then as I pass down the other side, it's gonna lead you to the garage. And there's two garages. You have one on this side, and then you have a two car garage on that side. The floor in here would be absolutely perfect. You know, gym equipment in here. However, if you'd like to put your, your beautiful baby in here, you have that nice reflective flooring. As I come back in on my right, this is a little bit more storage. And just take a look before I get into the living room at this seat. Looks like a, just a piece of tree that's been carved for your butt. Yep, it's a place to sit. As I make my way into the main entertaining space, this is the formal living room. This is where your guests are gonna come in or you'll be already sitting, have that talk, nice glass of wine, appreciate the evening. And the cool thing is just over here, you have a electronic fireplace and it has all those crazy colors that come out. At the end of the day, as long as it produces heat, it's done its job. And just take a look. Take a look at the art fixtures you have here, right? You gotta have stuff like this if you live in a place like this. Come down a little bit further. Just off the formal living room, you have this incredible wine bottle display. Temperature controlled as well. When you're thirsty, you have that special person coming over. You reach in here, grab your favorite bottle, and it's just a spectacle. It's not just a casual drink, now it's an event. And then we have your dining room. Some people don't like dining rooms because they feel it takes up a lot of space and not many people use it. However, this one's incorporated perfectly because this could be a place where you just have breakfast in the morning or it could be your dining room. It's got these amazing light fixtures just above and I love the table. It's very nice, reflective. And of course, overlooking the views doesn't get much better than that. Leads me straight into the kitchen. And this kitchen has been designed to satisfy really any style that you're looking for. It's got the traditional beautiful marble on the countertops. It's got a Thermador drink cooler over here with a few wine bottles already inside. They can hold about a hundred bottles. And then here you have a six burner Thermador blue dial gas stove. That thing is beautiful. Honestly, it could be a piece of art. If it didn't even work, I would still want it. Pot filler just above the stove. And the vent is also nicely hidden below. And then you have the sink and the thing about this sink where it's located, it overlooks everything in the room. So I really like this because I'd be, you know, if you're entertaining, I'm in the kitchen the whole time and this is where I want to be, keeping an eye on everyone, make sure everyone's happy. The storage goes up and around, hidden, but, you know, accessible. So just push, open, and you have everything hidden pretty nicely. And then over here, I have a Thermador dishwasher. And the dishwasher is really cool because all I have to do is push in, it comes out. And then you have this blue UV light that I'm sure it kills bacteria or something, but aesthetically, it looks awesome. Bar stool seating. And just this room alone is enough to entertain for most people that you're com you have coming over and whatnot. And you still have this TV room behind me. So as I come a little bit further down, you have the windows on one side, windows on the other side. And this is really what you want when you live on the water and you have a boat parked out in front. You want to have these huge windows just appreciate the views and, and where you're living on a beautiful sunny day in South Florida. With the amount of space you have in here, you can easily put a sofa, another sofa, and another sofa. So you can accommodate a huge gathering of people. If you have a huge family event, whatever the case may be, easy to accommodate. Automatic roll down shades that come down to give you privacy if you need. So this could really be like a movie theater right here. As I come further down, going down the hall on the left by the kitchen, that was where your second garage is. Two car garage 
next to the laundry room, and that's separate from the one car garage on the other side. Coming from over here, passing through the dining room once again, crossing over the former living room. So you also have a guest bedroom on the first floor just off of the living room, which is great. If you have someone visiting, you know, it's nice to have one separate from the rest of the bedrooms. However, this isn't just any kind of guest suite. This is like, this is almost like a master bedroom. It fooled me. I thought this was the master bedroom. I mean, it has access to the backyard, huge floor ceiling windows overlooking everything. This incredible bed and just take a look at the light fixture hanging in the middle. It looks like something very royal out of, I don't know, some historic, it looks like a shower head that's raining that froze. And then you have the walk-in closet for the bedroom right over here. And it's definitely a walk-in. Look, I'll walk in to prove it to you. Look at all this walking I'm doing. I can't do any more walking than that. In the ensuite of the bathroom, the finishes are what makes it really stand out. The color, the design on the countertops, this touchscreen mirror, and then the walk-in shower has these lights from the top. So this can actually also be like a cabana bathroom because the access to outside is just right over there. From this guest suite, we're gonna walk back out and take a look at the pool area. When I open this, the robot is gonna go off. Okay, and now we're gonna come out here, but the cool thing is the doors come further back. So if you're entertaining, you can easily make it an awesome way to entertain, letting in all the natural light and fresh air. It takes us out into the pool area. These great sectionals, a gas fireplace right in the middle, warm up, hang out with some friends. Where the living room windows were, just off of where the dining room was looking, you also have more covered space where you can easily put an outdoor dining table, more seating in the covered part of the house. And regardless, it's all overlooking views of the water and your pool. And, and then on my right, it's got even more outdoor space. So if you wanted to put how you have this chair or loungers to tan in, probably loungers would be perfect because you have this faux grass going over here and the loungers would just be perfect. Look where the sun is. Right now it's about noon. So this is when you're out tanning and look where the, the angle of the sun is. Doesn't get much better than that. The array of palms on this side give you a lot of privacy and then it takes you down to the side of the house, but you still have all that privacy and even a little space over here if you have a dog, it's a little grass to, to do what it needs to do, you know? Coming across by where the pool area is, this really dark finish on the pool, it makes it look really deep and inviting and warm. And the pool almost has like a rimless end where the uh, inlet is. So you can see, it feels like the water just continues out it flows into a jacuzzi flawlessly, right off of everything. So you can be hanging out here, people in the pool lounging and everyone is in the same room having a great time. The shallow kitty area, but really just like a place where you can sunbathe with these beautiful chairs in the water. And honestly, can you think of the tan that you're gonna get laying in there, cooking in the sun? It's making me really mad. I think after this video, I'm going straight to the beach, keeping it real. Besides the space you had over there with the tanning and the faux grass, it kind of continues over here, fenced in again. So if you have animals, it'd be great. But faux grass going around this side, space for loungers. And if, as if it can get any better than that. Outdoor summer's kitchen. Just another little place to sit and hang out and eat. From here, we're gonna head back inside and take a look upstairs to see the rest of the bedrooms. Let's go. So coming down past the formal living, up these couple steps. And the whole staircase is floating with these huge slabs. So it just, it feels really sturdy and elegant. And as I'm coming up, once again, I'm looking at this art piece. It takes you right away into basically like a loft or a floor room. But truthfully, this is exactly how you see it. This is how it should be. It's a great space for all the family members upstairs to in the morning lounge and hang out. So you don't have to go downstairs. It kind of, this is where you start your day. And the cool thing is you actually have these shades just like downstairs to give you that privacy. So in the morning, if you want to watch some TV, but truthfully, if you live here, you definitely don't want anything blocking these views. I would leave these open all day. Just like a little wet bar over here. Off of the den, it takes you a little bit further down. And just like downstairs, you had a laundry room. Upstairs, you have a laundry room too. This one's a little bit more spacious. It actually has a countertop that curves around and then the washer and dryer. On my left, you have an office. 
However, the office, this house is so new, is still being built. It does have a full ensuite and balcony, which I'm going to show you. So as we come on in, this is one of two balconies up here. And I had to show it to you for obvious reasons. Look at the, the sun, the view you get from out here. I can smell the sea salt because now the wind is blowing down a little bit further to me. And just overlooking the property, even a, a place to throw some plants with irrigation, it just, they thought of everything. And then you have lights above. I love the cedar ceiling that you have. So you just had that gorgeous wood going down, overlooking the water. So as I come further down, listen, you have to understand, I gotta leave the best for last. So I'm gonna skip the master bedroom for now and we're gonna head down and take a look at the other guest suites. This is a guest suite. However, it's been converted into a movie theater. This is the best setup for a movie theater. Huge projection screen, definitely over 100 inches. The projector hanging just above here. One floor of couches over here and then just behind it, a platform. The texture on the wall, it's got like a snakeskin texture and the black, very modern and movie theater like. And on top of this, you get a full belly during the movie theater. Listen, you drank too much Coke, had too much popcorn. There's a, there's a bathroom, an ensuite. You got an ensuite right over here. It's got a shower, even a place to store your cold drinks. Over here, you got a fridge. And to top it off even further, balcony. But for the front of the house. It has some cupboard space, some outdoor space, chairs with the sun on this side, and this whole ledge right here is just plants and a little touch that did not need to be there, but it made all the difference. So let's go take a look at the final guest suite as I come back in. Little features that they included in the property as you're coming from bedroom to bedroom. This window goes across the hall and then you have lights down below. So as I'm walking, it just lets a natural light. My feet are lit up at night, it's perfect comes further down and this is the final guest bedroom. The, the windows that you were seeing in the hall continue further down into the property. And then I have a true walk-in closet on this side. On my right, an ensuite as well. The same design, the same walk-in and the cool mirrors in each one. So from here, let's go take a look at the final bedroom, the master bedroom, the best bedroom, the views, it's got it all. It's time to show you, let's go. So just before I go in there, overlooking my whole entrance, and now it's gonna come across into the master bedroom. As I walk in, the master bathroom, it's just calling my name. I just have to go. So I'm, gonna go, I'm just gonna head straight in. So as you walk in, the design and the layout of this is perfect. You have the soak-in tub just by the window so you can, so you can get some natural light enjoy the view, and you still have privacy because the Eureka pumps cover up to where everyone's house is. A light fixture down the middle, just to add that extra level of elegance. The dual sinks both have the really cool mirror with the dimming effect. You could change the, uh, the warmth of the light. The vanity is floating going across. And you still have a walk-in shower on this side huge shower head and even the walls have the same crystal design that we saw downstairs in between the tile out of the master bathroom on my right this is the first walk-in closet and everything is very open the bathroom was open the closets are open it just kind of curves in goes all the way down and this this is not the only closet obviously there's a second closet over here and this one might be a little bit better this might be even better than the, the first one because in this closet, not only do you have the space, the light fixture, you also have a balcony and views. So you're getting ready and you're just picturing the day. Beautiful day, today's a sunny day. Oh, I know exactly what I'm putting on today. I'm gonna leave that for last because I wanna show you the master bedroom. So as I walk into the main bedroom, this is where you're spending most of your time. This is where you wake up, go to sleep, and this is exactly where I'd wanna do it. The windows just above the TV, just to add some more natural light, I'll say it again, and floor to ceiling windows, which that is a must in any house where you have a water view, you need floor to ceiling windows. Another amazing light fixture over here, even the little mirrors by the lights, emphasizing the room, and then the king size bed to top it all off. From here though, let's take a look at the balcony. 
and uh, see what kind of views we get from there. Coming out onto this balcony, comes across off the, this is completely private to the master suite, just like how that one was private to the bedroom. And I wouldn't want it any other way. This is exactly how the master bedroom should be in a property like this. And on that note, I think this is a great place to end the tour. So I really appreciate you coming on this tour with me. If you'd like to see more tours just like the one you saw today, feel free to hit that subscribe button and let's keep going. Let's just keep it going. Almost at 50K. Probably if you're watching this and maybe I passed 50K already. Well then thank you. Let's just keep going anyway.